Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mohammad Sohil, and today I am going to teach you very important topic from pharmaceutics first unit second that is powders. So without any further delay, let's begins with our today's session. In this lecture, we are going to learn definition of powders, classification of powders. advantages and disadvantages of powders so first we'll see definition of powders so powders are the simplest dosage form and are the basis of many other solid dosage forms such as tablet capsule etc powder are intimate mixture of dry finely divided drug and chemicals that may be intended for internal or external use pharmaceutical powders are solid dosage form consisting of a mixture of a dry powder drugs intended for internal or external use powders are available in both crystalline or amorphous form now coming to the advantages of pharmaceutical powders drugs are more stable in solid form for example dry antibiotic syrup the half life of the antibiotic in a solid form is about 2 to 3 years but if it is formulated in a liquid form it is up to 1 to 2 weeks so dry syrup are a better option for those type of drugs powders are used for both internally and externally it is more stable than liquid dosage form it is convenient for the physician to prescribe a specific amount of powder onset of action is faster as compared to tablet capsule because it is easy in dissolved in body fluid powders are easy to carry it is easy to administration to the patient orally by dissolving in suitable liquids due to high surface area powder show fast dissolution and gives the quick onset of action it can be administered easily to infants and young children who are unable to swallow tablet or capsules now coming to the disadvantages of pharmaceutical powder the masking of unpleasant taste is a big problem in powders second less convenient to carry as compared to tablet and capsule less accuracy in dispensing potent drug in powder dosage form we cannot supply drugs in powder dosage form which are degraded in the stomach drugs have bitter taste nausea and unpleasant taste cannot be administered in powder form so these are the disadvantages or advantages of powders now coming to the classification of powders So there are total 5 classes of powders. First bulk powder for external use. Externally we are using dusting powders, snuffs, douch powders, dental powder and insufflation. Second bulk powder for internal use. Third simple and compound powder for internal use. Fourth effervescent granules and last is catchets. So this is the classification of powders. In next lecture We'll see this classification in detail. 